We're here today at the O'Reilly Solid Conference, and what we've done is launch our new research report on the Internet of Things. It's uh, not the first time we've actually studied the Internet of Things. We first wrote about it five years ago. Now we have a new research report with a set of updated perspectives and new insights. Certainly the awareness of this uh, trend has become uh, more prevalent among uh, business decision makers. In fact, there's a, quite a bit of what you might describe as hype about this topic now. But what we found in our research is, is to a certain extent, that hype is justified. There's a tremendous amount of potential value. We looked at hundreds of different use cases and examined 150 of them in great detail and discovered that you know, by the year 2025, four to 11 trillion dollars of economic value could be created through the use of the Internet of Things. But one of the other things that we discovered is that in fact it will take a tremendous amount of work. It will require not only investment in technology, but innovation in management, innovation in business models in order for that value to be captured. And that's going to require actions across a number of different dimensions. But some of the other things that we discovered in our research are for example that nearly half of the value that can be captured requires interoperability, requires different IoT systems to be able to work together. And so being able to understand where interoperability will create value and how to have those systems work together is absolutely necessary. A lot of the research that has already been conducted on the Internet of Things has looked at things solely through an industry vertical lens, looking at the automotive industry, looking at the mining industry, looking at the healthcare industry, looking at the consumer packaged good industry. And we do think that that's valuable as well. But one of the things that we've added to the dialogue, because these systems are sensors and devices embedded in the physical world, connected by networks to computers, we actually started to look at things in terms of the physical settings in which these technologies were deployed. So take, for example, devices that are attached to the human body or embedded in it. Um, we looked at places where people live or homes. We looked at places where knowledge workers worked, which is offices. We looked at standardized production environments, which we described as factories, but we also think includes agricultural environments such as farms, which again are standardized. We also looked at work sites, which are customized production environments, places like mines, places like upstream oil and gas, or construction sites. And by analyzing the Internet of Things within those types of environments, we did discover the importance of interoperability, for example.